Hey, what's going on? I'm AC and welcome to part 5 of my industrial craft tutorial. Uh, this part's going to be on the farming aspect of it, which is, well, it's called agriculture in an uh, in industrial craft. I mean, it's actually agriculture, so I suppose it's pretty well named, but you get my point, the farming part of it anyway. Um, it's probably going to be a short one, because I won't lie, I don't, I'm not some kind of expert on this this part, I don't really do the whole industrial craft farming that much. I mean, I know the basics. That's, uh, well, I know a bit more than the basics, but I'm not some kind of expert is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, good. Um, right, so, basically, to get started in agriculture slash farming with industrial craft, you'll need some crops. Um, made like this, four sticks, and you get two crops for every four sticks that you put in. Um, obviously you'll need a hoe, which using the industrial craft, so you should be using your electric hoe as well. Uh, hoe out some ground, and you just put your crops down. Now these, you don't really want that to be happening, but I'll show you what they are in a minute. But yeah, there you go, your crops, you can't really see them that well in your hotbar unless you get some kind of background. I mean, if you do that, I mean, you can't see any, well, you can. You get my point anyway. Um, so yeah, so they are, you just right click, you plant them down, there you go. And then what this was supposed to be was a demonstration of uh, cross crossbreeding. But obviously not. If you get two two of these crops and you place one down and then you place one on top of that one, this happens. And basically you can't plant seeds on that. Um, I'll get into this a bit more after actually. But you can't plant seeds straight on that, whereas just one of them what am I spelling? Seed. If you put that down and put a seed straight on it, quite quite easy. But um, just show you the example of this. You can't. Oh well, you just lose your seed. Okay, that's it's a bit weird. Whatever. Um, yeah. So don't use your seed in it, basically. Um, yeah. What's in here? Okay, um, right, yeah, so, obviously as you can see here, I've got lots of wheat that's, that I've been growing, um, so yeah, and over here, these, um, actually I'll get some in a second, this here, right here is, uh, when you leave a crop with no, no seeds in it, this is what happens, weeds will grow, so basically say you had a big wheat farm like this, and you just left one open, and some weeds started to grow. Weeds spread and it kills your plants, basically. I'm going to turn that off, it's quite annoying. Um, yeah, it kills your plants, so you want to keep these weeds away, basically. So either don't have any open crops, or you can use this stuff. Weed X, made with redstone grin powder, which is a spider eye put in into a furnace. As you can see, there you go. And you get two grin powder. And an empty cell. And there's your weed X. And I'll show you what that does. Basically, you right click on your crop. And it only happens twice. There you go. And weeds won't grow there now. That's it. Weeds just won't grow. Until you break these and place them back down. Or until something's grown and you get rid of it, basically. So that's why to stop weeds growing on empty crops. And as you can see, down on my hotbar it does take damage it will eventually just disappear basically um, but yeah that's weeds and how to get rid of them um, right now I have to harvest things that you've got so obviously as you can see this is this is wheat just right click on it and as you can see it's still planted but you get your wheat off it so you don't have to replant it and obviously you get more chance of getting more see you go. Uh, from five wheat plants there, I got. Oh, did I do six? Okay, from six wheat plants there, I got twelve. So you know, I doubled it. So that's pretty handy. And it replanted itself instantly. Well, it didn't replant itself. I mean, you just harvested it basically. That's what happened. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's really quite helpful. But if you left click it, which you got to be careful not to do because it is quite annoying, you will basically get rid of the seeds. So yeah. Be careful of that. I do it all the time. Really, really annoying. 
because then you've got to go and get more seeds because you don't get any seeds back when you do that either. And yeah. Anyway, onto the other kind of seeds. So we've got melon over here. These are all melon seeds. You can see. Um, can't really tell too well, but I mean, if you had to guess, you'd know it as melon. But yeah, they're all fully grown melons. These are all fully grown pumpkins. Now again, you right click on it. There you go. Oh, I got nothing from that one. There you go, get some melons. But your melon plants stay fully grown. You just gotta wait for it to regrow melon, basically. Um, yeah, as you can see, it either gives off full melon or like bits of melon. So, pumpkin, same thing, you just right click. Um, and if you use an equivalent exchange, this is a very good source of EMC. These, uh, these pumpkin farms and melon farms. Pumpkins being better, but yeah, very good use for uh, way of getting EMC. And obviously melon farms are a very good way of getting food. I mean, melons only give you one heart per piece, but you know, still quite helpful. Um, yeah, this whole crossbreeding thing as well. Basically, when you put a crossbreeder down like this, it will eventually start growing something like like this is here um this is obviously going to be a cross breed between uh wheat and um melons and it can come up with loads of different things you can farm ink sacks and well, new plants all sorts of things um but as i said i'm no expert so sorry i don't know that much but i do know that you can farm ink sacks and a lot of other cool stuff so you just have to play around with that basically. The other thing is, if you put bone meal on any of this, it's not going to make it grow instantly. Uh, for example, i got some bone meal here. There you go. It doesn't grow, but it still uses it. Basically, it helps it to grow faster. But something that's better at making it grow faster, it makes your growing faster grow faster. Basically, it's better than bone meal. It's fertilizer using scrap and bone meal, and you get two fertilizer. And it basically makes your plants grow faster, and it makes them grow faster than if uh, if you use bone meal on them as well. So it's quite helpful. Um, yeah, so you've got your farm set up, and uh, you want to go mining. You know, leave everything alone, but you don't want weeds to grow. You don't want your whole farming setup to just sort of die the second you leave so IC2 has thought that through and they've given you a crop matron on crop matron um, made like that I don't know if I left it on long enough sorry I never really thought um, I can just do this anyway there you go machine block a chest two circuits and five crops will get you a crop matron or matron if you just place this basically the style I'll set it out over the top of a water source. If you place it in the middle, I think it does cover a five by five area. If you just put it sort of just above this layer, but in the middle. Um and I'll show you the interface. It does have to be powered by industrial craft power as you can see here. Slam a solar panel on it or something. Um you put fertilizer in it, water cells and a weed X and it will basically just automatically do it itself so very helpful um, and that's basically all I can tell you about the agriculture part of industrial craft because I'm not entirely sure about it um, but yeah thanks for watching um, there won't be any more industrial craft videos because as far as I'm aware that's all that I can cover really so yeah but um Thanks for watching this little mini series as such. I'll be doing build craft after this, so stay tuned, you know. Watch out for that. Um, I've been 18. Thank you for watching.